Jarvis. Who is Albert Einstein? According to Wikipedia, Albert Einstein was a German-born theoretical physicist who developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics. Following a guide online, I installed the Magic Mirror 2 software onto my Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. I then downloaded the third-party modules called MMM Google Assistant and MMM Assistant 2 Display onto the Pi and incorporated it in, into the config of my Magic Mirror. I then connected the Raspberry Pi to achieve second-hand monitor as well as a speaker and a microphone to test it. Jarvis, compliment me. You always know the perfect thing to say to me. It usually starts, okay Google. Jarvis, Yoda. According to Star Wars database, Yoda was a legendary Jedi Master and stronger than most in his connection with the Force. Jarvis, I want it that way, Backstreet Boys. Here's a matching video. Using some 1x3s, I made the inner box of the mirror, which will hold the acrylic mirror sheet and the monitor. Using some wood glue, I glued the sides together and then clamped them overnight. And I also used a triangle to make sure my corners were square. Next, I used some cardboard to make prototypes for the front of the frame, which is the decorative piece. I didn't want the inside box to sit flush with the outside frame as I wanted to create some depth and potentially add LEDs in the future. The front of the frame actually covers part of the monitor screen, so I was just testing to see how much of the screen I want covered. Using 1x3s again, I used a jig to cut the 45 degree angle for the front of the frame. I glued the frame together and used some masking tape to secure the pieces while the glue dries. I then glued the outside frame to the inner box. So my phone ran out of storage, but basically all I did was clamp the top and the bottom together and then I just put some drinks for weight to make sure that it all sticks perfectly together. And I'm just gonna let it rest for like a day to let it glue well and then I can start sanding it and staining it with the wood color. I then sand the frame with 120 grit to prepare the wood for staining. I stained the frame with two layers of water-based traditional cherry. It was with polyurethane, so I didn't need to add another finish layer. For the two-way mirror part, I used a piece of acrylic and the two-way mirror film that I got from Amazon. I personally think this works really well, especially if you're on a budget as this is way cheaper than buying an actual two-way mirror. So I put it all together with the brackets and stuff. So I noticed that this part is a little bit like iffy, so I'm thinking I'm gonna file a little bit. 
After fouling, I just use some L brackets or corner brackets to secure the monitor to the frame. I also put an extra piece of wood with electrical tape in the empty space between the monitor and the frame, which helps hold the monitor together and prevent it from falling down. I added in the Raspberry Pi and other cables and secured everything together using a hot glue gun and some electrical tape. And with everything in place, I was done! Jarvis, brief today. Good afternoon, Iron Man. It's 2.46 p.m. Have a nice day. Sorry, news playback isn't supported on this device yet. With the Google Assistant module, the Smart Mirror can do basically everything Google Assistant can do. Jarvis, add to my calendar for tomorrow. At what time? Alright, post a YouTube video on July 23rd, 2020 at 1 p.m. Do you want to save that? Yes. Sure, I added it. On top of the Google Assistant function, the Smart Mirror also allows me to Chromecast any videos I want from my phone or laptop to the mirror with the Assistant 2 display module, which is pretty cool. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video.